Ryan Murphy here from GuitarLessonsWithRyan.com. I have an awesome tune for you today by Weezer called Butterfly. And this is by far my favorite Weezer tune. It's off of Pinkerton. It's a beautiful song. So we're just going to jump right into it and I'll show you the chords, the strumming pattern, and the form. All right, now before we get started, I just want to go over the tuning of the guitar. Everything's tuned down a half step. So we have an E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat. B flat and E flat. Now in some tuners it might register as a D sharp, G sharp, C sharp, F sharp, A sharp, and D sharp. All right now the strumming pattern is simply down, 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 one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and Alright, now the chords, we just start right away with the G chord. So the vocals come in right away. So it'll be Yesterday I went outside. Alright, so we're starting on a G major, that second finger, third fret of the sixth string, first finger on the second fret of the fifth string, open on the fourth, open on the third, third finger on the third fret of the second string, and pinky on the third fret of the first string. So as your G major, we do a down, down, down before we move to the next chord, which is E minor. Now everything's open except the first finger is pushing down the second fret of the fifth string and second finger on the second fret of the fourth string. Do another down, down, down before we go to a C major, which is like this. We have the third finger on the third fret of the fifth string, second finger on the second fret of the fourth string, open third string, and first finger on the first fret of the second string and also the open first string. Down, 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 before we move on to a D chord. So we have the open fourth string, first finger, second fret of the third string, third finger on the third fret of the second string, and finally second finger on the second fret of the first string, and we do it down, 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 and then we go back to the G chord, down, 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 E minor chord, down, down, C. All right, now here we do a fill and we go, we play a C and then we play the second fret of the fourth string, which is actually pushed down in the C chord. And then we play the second and first strings. And the first finger, as you can see, is pushed down on the first fret of the second string. Take the pinky, put it on the third fret of the second string, and then take the pinky off, take the third and second fingers off, drop the second finger down to the second fret of the third string, play those two. Um, that'll be the third string and second string. Then we take the first finger off, play the open second string, second finger remains down, so we play the third string, and then play the second string again. Okay, so that section would sound like this. After that, we move back to the G chord, G, E minor, C, D, G, E minor. Now there's a little fill there that kind of matches the vocals. That's going to be open third string, open first string, add the pinky to the third fret of the second string and then just start strumming the C chord. And that's during the part that is no more sighing in her breast. So it kind of matches the vocals. No more sighing in her 
progress. Then we go to the D chord. D. Now notice there we played it twice as many times as most of the chords in the verse. So this is the chorus part. So we play a D. Then we go to a G. E minor. C. D. Back to G. G7. Now the G7 is third finger on the third fret of the sixth string, second finger on the second fret of the fifth string, open fourth, open third, open second, and finally first finger, first fret on the first string. And that's the every time I bend down. And then we go to the C chord, D chord, G chord, E minor chord, and then the last chord is an A minor 7. Alright, so it's very similar to the C major, except the third finger is not pushing down on the fourth string. And we play that for two bars, so we go one, two, and three. Before we move on to the next verse. All right, now verse two sounds like this. Smell you on my hand for days. I can't wash away your sin. I'm a dog and you're a bitch. And then we do the fill. I guess you're as real as me. Maybe I can. Okay, so the fill at the end of the second verse is very similar to the first fill that we went over, except the first note is open on the third string. Uh, the second note is simply the open on the first string, and then the rest of the fill is very much the same. So we have the pinky down on the third fret, and then we put down the second finger one, one string lower, and then open second string, second fret of the third string open on the second string. So it'll be Life of Chasing Butter And then we go to a D chord. And then we're at the second chorus. So we have a G I'm sorry for what I did I did what my body told me to I didn't mean to do you harm Every time I did Okay, so the A minor 7 at the end of the second chorus is a little different than the one at the end of the first chorus. It's an alternate fingering. We put the pinky on the third fret of the first string. And also it's played twice as long. So we have four bars instead of two bars. And there's this little, uh, where you go, that part in the middle of those bars. So just listen for it. You'll be able to, um, to hear that part. So it'll sound like this. One, two, and three. It's like, kind of like the verse part, but it's kind of an outro. Okay, so the outro sounds like this. I told you I would return When the robin makes his nest I ain't never coming back Here's the fill. To a G. Two and three and four I'm sorry and three And then you'll hear that, sorry. And basically all you do there is you drop the second finger down to the second fret of the third string and play it. And I usually do a pull off there, so I kind of pull down on the string to, to uh, play the open on the third string. But you could also uh, simply pick it, and then you go to a G, two and three and four and, and then the last one you just let ring out. All right, so that's all there is to it for that tune. Be sure to check out my website at www.guitarlessonswithryan.com for more song lessons. All right, well, have fun, and I'll see you next time.